Fond du Lac has changed a lot in the past 108 years, but this diner hasn't. I'm your Fond du Lac neighborhood reporter, Margaret Cahill, with a look at what makes the diner of Fond du Lac so important to the community. Good afternoon, the diner. Sandy Ritchie took over the diner over the summer and was met with the task of maintaining more than 100 years of tradition. That part is scary because I have to keep up with all the previous owners. I have to keep up with what they did. Sandy shadowed the previous owners for months and had to learn how to cook on a grill to maintain the tradition of the owner being the primary cook in the diner. But she says the community has been supportive. I've come to realize who these people are, and if they're not here, I start to worry about that. Sandy says hiring initially presented some challenges, especially finding people to work at 4.30 a.m. And rising food prices can put pressure on small businesses like hers. But she says carrying on tradition is worth it. I have customers that come in here that their grandfather owned this building. They're, they were a waitress in the 60s or 70s. Um, I've had dishwashers stop in here. People just want to see that this is still here and that it's still an original diner. Sandy also says she supports the community in other ways by working with the North Fond du Lac School District's Life Skills Learning Program, where students with learning obstacles can come during the school day and volunteer at the diner to learn skills like cleaning or social interactions. Gregory Dansfield is one of those students, and he says this is a great opportunity in their neighborhood. They're, they enjoy the food. They enjoy other people the other people's company and stuff, so. And Sandy says she hopes the diner stays in the community for another 108 years.